so the uh, boycott group, your opinions on the boycott group? Or? Well, like I was saying before, they all indoctrinated, I'm saying the word right, into what the leader believes. They won't accept any other point of view. You can't even reason with them on any subject. And uh, I have even talked to one of the uh, one of the Muslims in there, and uh, he he claims that there's no violence done by the Islam anywhere in the world. And uh, you only got to look at the you know. So that, that that is purely what I call brainwashing. They won't accept you know they, they won't accept any other argument other than what they are brainwashed to believe. And that's the sad part about it. There's always two points of view. You know, I don't want to waffle. Okay, thanks. So, so what about like, uh, what about the, the, the complaining about the um, the land within the, um, the Dead Sea, saying that only Israel owned that? Well, it was never Palestine land. It, it, it never belonged to them. You can go right back into the history. In fact, there's a bit of a story in the United Nations. One of the Israeli leaders was about to speak before the United Nations, and uh, most of the United Nations leaders are Palestinian or, or uh, like Islamic countries. And the Israeli leader got up and he said, oh, before I speak, I'd like to share a story. And he said, when Moses stood by the rock and smote the rock, and the water came out, Moses took his clothes off and put them on the rock and had a wash, a shower. When he went to get his clothes, a Palestine had stolen them, they were, they were born. Now the Palestine leader at United Nations jumped up very angrily and said, what do you mean a Palestine stole We weren't even there then. The Israeli leader said, now we've got that point clear, let's get on with the real issue. And that's what it means, is they never ever owned the land. I've got a track here, which I've shown you, written by a Palestine journalist that said we've never owned the land. And that, that land was always given to the Jews right back in, and it, it was taken from them, but it still belonged to the original Jew that gets their surname from their mother.